Tree down. Like tree down. I'm taking a picture. What a mess. And another tree down. Literally, there's trees down about every hundred meters. <coughs> Guess I should have checked the trail reports a little clearer before we left. I think we are going to bail on this trail. Unfortunate. I'm looking forward to this. But there's just no riding it. Yeah, here's the road. So this storm that occurred here back on May 21st, uh, we call the Drake Show, which is a kind of like a little mini uh, tornado kind of thing that hit in sporadically in a, a number of different places. It did extensive damage in Ganaraska Forest. Um, we watched a video that was, I think, the day after, and they assumed that they would have a lot of it cleaned up fairly quickly. So we thought that we would be able to ride most of the trails and we got here and, and several of the parking locations said no trespassing there was still damage storm damage so we did try an area that didn't have any signs up but it was just impossible to ride unfortunately so we didn't get to ride Libby can you tell me I guess what happened yesterday with the storm that passed through um, well, as everybody's aware, we had, um, you know, high winds come through and at the Ganaraska Forest Centre, the winds uh, gusted through the forest and caused severe damage uh, with the f within the forest. We we're still assessing it. Um, it's going to be a while as we do assess it, but trees down, across trails, uh, across forest roads, and um, people trapped that we got out and unfortunately there was a fatality within the forest appears riding a motorcycle and it appears a tree yes that's our understanding um that he was on a dirt bike of some kind um it was a male uh, around age 30 and um he was uh, deceased by the time um help arrived do you know what portion it was in forest west it was in the motorized section um so uh yeah it's just most unfortunate and um, others that were trapped there was a, a family um two kids and some adults and between our staff and firefighters um they were able to get to them and and get that group out and there were others that had to you know abandon bikes or cars and make their own way out um just taking other trails it was a surprise i guess how quick it came I think it was to everybody. I mean, we all got warnings on the phone, but I, I, I don't think people were aware it was going to be obviously that severe. And the problem is now um, that we've got damage in there that we don't know the extent of it, but there could be broken off trees that are hanging in a canopy. And should somebody be accessing our trails, one of those trees could come plummeting down and cause another fatality. And that's why we've closed the forest. We don't want people in there. We're going to be assessing it, looking at trails, and then trying to clear away the debris and, and trying to make it safe for everyone to enjoy again. Safe to say it will be days? It will be days. It, I, I expect um, it won't be open at all this week. Um, we're going to try and, and, as I said, assess. Maybe we can get a flyover. 
um, to see the damage because 11,000 acres, um, you know, it's hard to assess it all on foot. Um, and there was a group, forgive me, there was a group that was staying there for the weekend? Yes, we rent out the, the forest um, for weddings or, or different groups and we had a group of approximately 80 people and when we lost power, um, we had to ask them to, uh, to leave the, the facility because of course we have no power, we have no washroom facilities, everything is closed down right now. And if you can forgive me all this, I'm just treetop trekking saying there was people using it. Treetop trekking, yes. I uh, spoke to staff there yesterday when I was out and they had been out with their chainsaws clearing. Um, they were able to get all of their clients safely off the course. And I know that um, some parents even uh, reached out to them and thanked them for getting their kids safely uh, back out. But um, yes, they are going to be assessing their damage. If you can talk a little bit about how were these people trapped? Like for a person that's never really been in the forest, I mean, did the, were the trees coming down and then they couldn't drive any longer? Is that how it was? Yes. Yeah, so if if people were if people were hiking, they could get out on foot. But I mean, again, the force of the winds. Um, but for people on trail bikes, there were trail bikes. Um, I understand from some of our patrollers that were just left uh, because they could not access the trails. They had to get out on foot. And rather than carrying the bikes or people out on just throughout the forest on their ATVs. Um, so a tree comes down, you can't, and some of the trees in there are, are huge. Um, and so they come down and you just can't get out. It is so dangerous. We don't want anybody out there and we don't want to see any vehicles within our parking lots. It's for the safety of others. A absolutely. A it's for their own safety because it may look safe, but they don't know what's up in the canopy above. And this is what's going to take the time to assess. Exactly. That's exactly right. So we just want people to be able to be safe. And so for now, be patient. And we will work towards getting everything open. So we're here at Ganaraska Forest. And we actually noticed while we were driving through that there was all kinds of forestry operations going on and tons and tons and tons of trees blown down. Mm -hmm. So this was the access point we were going to go in at. And then we noticed over here, Ganaraska Forest closed due to storm damage, no trespassing. And we thought, well, how bad can it really be? <laughs> so rather than parking here, which was posted, we went back to a different portion of the trail that didn't seem to have a posting on it. We thought, well, right. maybe it's okay. Uh, no, it's not okay. <laughs> And uh, in 500 meters, I think we had to lift over, what, at five least times? one, yeah, five times. Like about every 100 meters, there's trees down and you have to, wah, 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 yeah. wah. So, so we're going to? Durham Forest now. So no report for this region. Sorry. We'll be back.